Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and today I am back, like every single Wednesday, with Destiny Zerg Predictions. So this Friday is the first Trials of Osiris in the Rise of Iron DLC, so I am hoping and expecting Zerg to bring something related to Trials of Osiris this week. And to start things off this week, we're going to bring back the Trials of Osiris map prediction. So this time around, for the first Rise of Iron Trials of Osiris, I do think we're going to be getting the Skyline map. Now this map is pretty awesome, I've played it a few times since Rise of Iron has come out, I'm really looking forward to Trials being on this map. I have been playing Elimination here and there on that map, and it has been pretty damn good. I think it'd be really competitive, especially with some of the new artifacts as well. So with that aside now, let's get into these Trials of Osiris predictions, and we're going to start this week off with the Warlock class. So last week, the Warlocks got really lucky, and were the first people to get a new piece of gear from Xur for the Rise of Iron. You guys got the Trends vs. Steps. Now this time around, I think you guys are going to be getting the Impossible Machines. Now if you're a Stormcaller, these are very... It would be very crucial for you to buy these this weekend if you don't have them. They grant you landfall, and they do increase the reload speed of certain weapons depending on the roll that you get, so that's actually really great. And also increases your melee attack speed, which is perfect for the Stormcaller class, especially when you're launching those arc melees. So if you don't sell these this week, I would definitely pick them up, especially if you're someone who likes to run Stormcaller. Charles Bosiris, those were my go-to gauntlets all the time on my Stormcaller, and those are definitely some of my favorite gauntlets to run pretty much any time that I'm on my Stormcaller. So I would definitely pick those up this week if he sells them. And with that being said, let's get on into the Titan class. So this time around, I think the Titans are going to be the lucky ones to get that new piece of gear from Xur. I think you guys are going to be getting the Dune Mancers. So these are a new piece of exotic legs that just got introduced with the Rise of Iron, and they're pretty damn cool. I have them on my Titan already, and they increase the sprint speed and increase movement speed while aiming down your weapon sight. And they also give you a tighter turn radius while sprinting. So these are really cool, especially for elimination type game modes. If you're ever the last alive and need to run away, they're definitely going to be really awesome. And they're quite similar to the Mark 44 standicides, if you've ever used those before. Now in combination with one of the new artifacts that actually gives you infinite run speed, this can actually be pretty cool as with the Shoulder Charge active as well. If you're running your Striker Titan with Shoulder Charge, the Dune Mancers, and that artifact, it's actually quite fun. And you get your Shoulder Charge quite fast as well. They even had to tune back one of the artifacts and the Mark 44 stand sides because of the and then while it was in testing, it was so overpowered. So I would definitely pick up these Dune Mancers and test them out for yourselves on that Striker Titan. It is quite amazing. And if you are someone that likes to shoulder charge, they can come in quite handy and are a lot of fun to use, although a lot of other people will hate you for it. They're pretty damn fun. Now next up we have the Hunter class. So you guys, I don't think you're going to be that lucky enough to get a new piece of gear just because I don't think Zer is going to ruin this Eyebrows of Iron too quickly by selling away all of the new exotics that fast. So this time around for the Hunters, I think you guys are going to be getting an old piece of gear, but still something related to Trials of Osiris. I could easily see you guys getting the Bones of AAO, although he did recently just sell those. Those are one of the most used exotics for the Hunter class, so I could easily see him selling the Bones of AAO. But I could also see him selling Crest of Alpha Loopy as well, just because of that increased reload speed. So definitely be on the lookout for the Hunters this week. If you're looking for a piece of gear, this could definitely be your week to get some pieces of gear for Trials that could really help you out. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. And finally, we do have the Weapon Predictions. So in the Rise of Iron DLC, there really aren't too many new exotic weapons, especially not ones that can be sold from Xur. Although there are a few that you can get from exotic quests like the Thorn, that new raid primary pulse rifle, as well as the Kvoshkov. That's pretty much all that we have for the Rise of Iron, so I definitely don't think we're going to be getting any of those weapons from Xur this week. But I could easily see Xur selling the Mina Multitool this week, just because of the fact that he hasn't sold it in so long. And it is quite the weapon to use in Trials of Osiris as well. There really aren't any other Trials of Osiris related weapons that he hasn't sold in a while. So I definitely do think he could easily sell that Mind of Multi Tool this week. And it would definitely be a great bonus for all those players that still need that. Especially on some of the more competitive maps that Mind of Multi Tool is very good. Especially in Trials of Osiris. So hopefully he does bring something you guys need this week. As always guys, be sure to leave your comments down below what you think Xur is going to sell and what you would like him to sell as well. As well as your Trials of Osiris map prediction, I definitely think it's going to be one of those new Rise of Iron maps though. And with that being said guys, I will see you tomorrow in another video. Peace.